crash and fall coming to Babylon soon. There will be a great crash and fall coming to Babylon real soon. Alright? This is Brother Kazai Wong Jim is Atlanta. And uh, the Babylon that I'm talking about is Babylon the Great, aka America. Alright? Uh, we have a different and an and innumerable amount of numbers, right? Different amount of numbers of different countries that are uh, leaving the U.S. dollar when it comes to international trade, okay? Uh, I believe now the Chinese yuan is the most used currency in international trade right now. Um, and that spells bad news for America. It spells bad news for the Western world. That spells bad news for the power structure of the so-called white man. All right, for Edom. Okay. Uh, it spells bad news for the so-called American public. Okay, because real bad times is coming to this country, man. And it's going to hit hard, and it's going to come quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me, you know, no pun intended, all right? Uh, but it's, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a heavy crash coming to this country, all right? Uh, we have, I think we have another almost 20 nations wanting to apply to be a part of uh, BRICS, okay, which BRICS is a, uh, pretty much like an uh, economic superpower coalition, which is uh, Brazil, Brazil, uh, India, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, okay, and BRICS has been around for over a decade now, you know, it's just, it's now making headlines in the news because it's just Bible prophecy. The the so-called Western world, the American super superpower, has to be destroyed and it has to go down. No shadow of a doubt, no doubt about it. All right, the Heavenly Father uh, 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 damned America. Not God bless America. God damned America. Okay, he condemned this place. All right. Um, with that being said, with that being said, America is losing, uh, the U.S. dollar is using its world reserve currency status. The dollar is using its power. Hyperinflation is going to go through the roof. And bad times is coming to this country. Okay? Um, when you go into Isaiah, the 13th chapter, all right, it says that the Medes would not regard their gold or silver. Now the Medes, the Medes is talking about the Russians, okay? The Medes, uh, the ancient Medes, because remember we're talking about the Bible, so we're talking about thousands of years ago. The Medes, or the people of Media, right? That region of the earth pertained to Russia, okay? But those people didn't fulfill those prophecies that you read about in Isaiah the 13th chapter. So that region of the Medes is talking about Russia today. They're fulfilling their prophecy. Okay? And the gold and silver is talking about is this modern day currency. Alright? This monetary system that we use, which is the US dollar. Okay? That current this currency is is, is losing its stronghold. Okay? Um, especially with that uh, that proxy war going on in, uh, uh, in the Ukraine between the West and uh, Russia and China, uh, things are just going to escalate even more. Okay. Um, Alright, but the, the, the 
destruction that comes with World War III or the War of Armageddon is not going to come without this U.S. dollar losing its power and without the collapse, the global economic collapse. And the economic collapse that's going to come to America, which is going to lead to uh, central bank digital currencies all over the planet Earth. All right? That's going to lead to CBDCs, okay, all over the world. That's going to lead to the MOTB, prophesied in Revelation the 13th chapter, uh, which is going to be an actual implantable device inside your body, okay? It's going to be put inside of you. And all your money, your... your IDs, your insurance, all your medical information is going to be contained on that implant, okay? That physical implant with the digital ID. Just like everything is on your smartphone today, everything is on your smartphone, well, everything is going to be inside that tiny device, that tiny chip, okay? And that's going to be the uh, defining marker. That's going to be the marker of whether or not you trust in this um, this Edomite system and your worship of this system, which is the beast. Okay, because the world is about to is, is continue is trans changing right now. I'll say it like that. All right, it's changing right now into a new way of life, a new image, if you will. All right prophesied in the scriptures and you're going to have to be digitally tied to this system it's all over the different uh, videos all over the internet that's where the truth is you just got to be locked in you got to have that spiritual eye salve right that, and they call it the third eye you got to be connected to what's going on in the world the individual person now can't be so stupid you can't be this dumb to not be able to see what's going on man alright Especially uh, um, these uh, different Israelite groups outside the Great Millstone. You can't see what's happening. You can see what's happening, right? But you refuse to, to, to uh, admit the fact that Great Millstone GMS has always been right. We told you so. This world was going to go digital and everything was going to be tied to a, a, a device. It's going to be put inside of you, uh, your hand or your forehead. Okay? The Bible's literal on that prophecy. There's no spiritual. It's not sin. Okay? It's going to be a physical device put inside of you. And everything that's happening today with these countries leaving uh, um, uh, the U.S. dollar to trade with the yuan, these countries wanting to join BRICS. All right? The hyperinflation that's going on in the West, the rise of the protests that's happening different countries in Africa and Europe and around the world, all that's leading to the downfall of uh, this man's system. Now he thinks that he's going to be able to so-called reset it and, and, and move forward, but no, you're collapsing for an everlasting downfall, okay? It also says in Revelation the 13th chapter, right, it says if any man have an ear, let him hear, Revelation of uh, 13, 9 and 10 says what? It says that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. But this man has to go into slavery. Yes, this man, this white man has to go into slavery. Okay? He's not going to have no power once this world falls. There's going to be a new power, and that's going to be we, us so-called Hebrew Israelites. Well, us Hebrew Israelites, so-called Black Spans and Native Americans, we're going to rule the planet Earth. Okay? He's going to try to transform this world into some some uh, uh, some uh, digital prison, this digital captivity. Right? Well, he's going to go into captivity. All right? And that's going to be the end of it. Because the Heavenly Father is going to use the, the enemies of this 
from this world, right? This Western world, America, to shoot hypersonic thermal nuclear missiles and ICBM missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, onto America to destroy it, and that's going to collapse this man's whole power structure. The Edomite's whole power structure is going to go uh, into <laughs> extinction. Okay? There's nothing he can do about it. This is why we have to understand what's going on in the world, man. Stop being oblivious. Stop denying what's, uh, what's happening. Okay? Stop denying what's going on in the world today. Stop uh, uh, hating on GMS. Alright? And just teach the truth. Just teach the truth. That's all it's about. This is about teaching the truth and giving our people a chance, man. Giving the elected the chance to, to deliver their souls from this place. Don't nobody care how many followers you got. Don't nobody care if you got a 501c3 and, and, and you're unified with your garments and your, your numbers and you have this elaborate Passover. And yes, I'm talking about the IUIC. Because they're the, the number one uh, uh, talk of the, the uh, week right now. Okay? And they are uh, in the, the uh, we can pass over this week, which had nothing to do with being humble, okay? Look, man, the Lord is not looking for our people to prosper in this place, okay? And this goes for you other groups, too. IGBK, HOI, uh, AOC, HODC, all these groups that think numbers and prosperity and letting the world see how many Israelites you've woken up. Right? When it's not you didn't wake up anybody. Alright, you have a bash me out shot woke our people up. We just been we've just been called to guide them. Alright? As uh teachers. And that's it. Okay? Um, we're supposed to be humble, man. We we need salvation. The things that I'm talking about that's going to happen in this world, in this society, that's gonna come soon, right? And pretty much destroy our ways of life as it is right now we got to be humble man okay this place is is, is 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 coming to an end it's over with and the only thing that we can do the only thing we're going to be able to do and what we have to do and what we must do is call upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai okay we confess those names to the whole planet earth before men and before angels all right not god not jesus christ okay those evil wicked demonic satanic names all right god is just a title and jesus christ is a demon all right that's another, the Bible talks about another Jesus or another Savior. That's another Savior. That's, that Savior holds up this world in white supremacy. But Yahweh Shai, an Israelite, a so-called Hebrew Israelite, uh, a, a so-called black man, a Hebrew Israelite, that's, that's who we confess before the world. And he's coming back to destroy this place, but he's going to deliver the elect. All right? That's what's going to happen. And that's a beautiful thing because there's going to be a new world to come, a new beginning. When you read the Apocrypha, right, uh, the Bible in the book of Second Ezra, all right, it says that um, it says that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay, Jacob is the beginning. So since we're Jacob, we have to have a new beginning. Forget this place, man. This place is done. Man, let this place collapse. Let the Edomites in America and Russia destroy each other. And then when the smoke clears, it's gonna be um it's gonna be us. Okay, we're gonna rule the planet Earth. So with that, all praises go to Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah, by Shimon Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, Shalom.